this is your chapter 10 depreciation fixed asset accounting uh, in which we have discussed that what is actually a fixed asset and how we apply the depreciation basically depreciation having a very small definition to understand that it is a reduction of fixed assets whenever i talk about uh, the word fixed asset whenever these fixed assets are reducing it means the cost of the fixed asset is not uh, the same as it was purchased it was new so it will be reduced after some usage or after some time it means that fixed asset is depreciate so such depreciation of the fixed asset uh, it's basically need to be recorded by the businessman here you can see in the picture that this is shows a that depreciation is basically declining and it is uh, very much high when your product is new so th the cost of the product is uh, higher than the number of years as the number of years are passing the product cost is declining it is reducing but in some uh, methods of depreciation it will remain the same also reduction of the fixed asset i'm talking about this is your uh, easiest definition of depreciation a reduction reduction means reduce decline reduction in the value of asset over time and here i'm talking about your asset is your fixed asset you know what is your fixed asset the life of the fixed asset is more than years as i told you that you are not purchasing your furniture your car and your any equipment like your machineries of your house you are not purchasing on daily basis so those assets are your fixed assets because their life is more than years and you can use those fixed assets for the number of years for many years you are using it so definitely as their life is for the number of years they will be depreciate after its usage here they use the word due in particular to wear and tear wear and tear means food food means that fixed asset as it is using now so that fixed asset can be little bit uh, damaged little bit destroyed at as, as it is we are using it so it will be wearing and tearing of the fixed asset and reduction again they have in the second point they use the word reduction whenever we talk about the depreciation depreciation is giving us the concept of reduction it means something is reducing something is uh, depreciating and uh, the word depreciation is basically used with fixed assets we are using it not with um, uh, intangible we we are using it for the tangible that can be seen or touched here uh, on the next slide we have depreciation of fixed asset accounting depreci depreciation in an accounting method of allocating means uh, putting the cost of tangible or physical asset like if i uh, ask you the intangible cost we are not using it for depreciation we have other methods amortization or depletion i will discuss in my next lectures there what is amortization and dep depletion but today when we talk about the tangible or physical assets we use the word depreciation theek hai bete you have to keep in mind that always our fixed asset Uh, will be reduced after a, a certain period of time or after a number of years the life of the fixed asset is decreasing declining reducing and this decreasing declining and reducing is called depreciation then uh, uh, here they mention over its useful life useful life ke hamare paas whenever we have any fixed asset like i have my mobile phone and this mobile phone can be depreciate after 2 to 3 years so like or after you can say 6 uh, to 7 years not more than that then we have some uh, new models some new features so when we are comparing it the life of this fixed asset is declining as it is using on daily basis simultaneously you have different equipment like um, some refrigerator or television once you start using your fixed asset the life of the fixed asset is declining so the useful life means uh, the num the numbers of years in which it is using useful istemal hone wale saal zindagi ke or we can use the word life expectancy the word also here theek hai expectancy the same meaning expected it means useful life 
another line in which they have mentioned depreciation represents how much of an asset's value has been used up again uh, there are the syn uh, synonyms that how much that, that fixed asset is used up so jitna zyada koi fixed asset istemal hoga utna zyada hi depreciate hoga like agar main aapko ek uh, school van ki example deti hu over here it is van is uh, your fixed asset if that school van is uh, running day and afternoon and then at night you know, taking many shifts picking up many uh, students and dropping them then uh, many different clients in different companies it is already moving to jab wo ek school van subah se lekar shaam tak itna zyada chalegi or uh, 2 to 3 years it is continuously moving on the same path to kya hota hai ki ek duration ke baad jo life hogi us school van ki wo bahut zyada kam ho jayegi as compared to usi ke sath ek dusri school van hai jo ke ho sakta hai se 1 to 2 hours or 3 hours um, <clears throat> apni traveling perform karti ho तो मे बी इक्विपमेंट कैन बी परचेज ऑन द सेम टाइम एक ही वक्त में दोनों चीजें हमने ली भी होती हैं बट डिपेंड करता है कि आपने किस पे ज्यादा वर्क परफॉर्म किया है उसकी यूजेज उसके यूटिलाइजेशन पे तो जब आपका फिक्स एसिड बहुत ज्यादा यूटिलाइज हो जाएगा बहुत ज्यादा उसके अंदर हमारी वर्क परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ जाएगी तो डेफिनेटली हम उसको ज्यादा डेप्रिशिएट कर देंगे उसकी वैल्यू ज्यादा घिस जाएगी अगर मैं उसके लिए उर्दू वर्ड यूज करूं द डेप्रिसिएशन इज बेसिकली रिडक्शन इसका मतलब वो फिक्स एसिड और ज्यादा घिस गया है रिड्यूस्ड हो गया है ठीक है बेटे हमने उसको बहुत ज्यादा यूज अप कर लिया है उसकी यूजफुल लाइफ जो कि अगर आपने मज, आ, वो गाड़ी या कार स्कूल वैन खरीदते वैन आपको लग रहा था कि ये मेरे पास दस साल तो बहुत अच्छी चलेगी लेकिन वो तीन साल बाद ही खराब होने लग जाती है इसका मतलब आपकी जो यूटिलाइजेशन है और जो आपने उसको यूज किया है वो बहुत ज्यादा मोर देन द उसकी एक्सपेक्टेड लाइफ है इट मींस वो बहुत फास्टली डेप्रिशिएट होगी दिस इज यू कैन सी अगेन द डेप्रिसिएशन चार्ट बेसिकली इट्स नॉट यू कैन से इट्स बेसिकली इकोनॉमिकली इकोनॉमिक्स में आप लोग इस तरह ग्राफ बनाते हैं ना सो दिस बेसिकली इकोनॉमिकली प्रेजेंटिंग हाउ योर डेप्रिसिएशन इज चेंजिंग ओवर द नंबर ऑफ एयर फर्स्ट लाइफ फर्स्ट ईयर में आपने इसको जरा चेक करें कि डेप्रिसिएशन कैसे कैसे आपकी अपग्रेड होते जा रही है पहले टेंथ परसेंट रिड्यूज हुई फिर ट्वेंटी परसेंट फिर थर्टी परसेंट और इस तरह ये रिड्यूज होते होते बिल्कुल इसकी रिडक्शन फिफ्टी परसेंट तक रिड्यूज हो गई है द मैथड ऑफ अकाउंटिंग फॉर द एलोकेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट हमने अपनी कॉस्ट को एलोकेट करना है हमने अपनी कॉस्ट को जो मशीन की कॉस्ट है जितनी उसकी कीमत है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर वो स्कूल बैन उस वक्त टेन लैख की थी आफ्टर नंबर्स ऑफ एयर उसकी वो कॉस्ट टेन लैख नहीं रहेगी डेफिनेटली अब वो टेन लैख की वर्थ नहीं रखती मे बी उसकी जो वर्थ है वो सिक्स लैख हो जाए या वो एट लैख की हो इट मीन्स वो जो उसकी कॉस्ट रिड्यूज हुई है दो लाख या टू लैक्स वो जो रिडक्शन है वो आपकी डेप्रिसिएशन की कॉस्ट कहलाएगी the method of uh, accounting for the allocation of cost on any physical or tangible asset theek hai tangible asset ya physical asset ka yahan pe matlab hai fixed asset <clears throat> during its useful life wo useful life ki jisko jo uske expected life thi jisme aapko ye um, plan tha ki machine aapki itni utilize ho jayegi this is your expected life which is uh, you yourself are deciding ki itne life of the अकाउंटिंग मशीन अच्छी वर्केबल कंडीशन में रहेगी वो यूजफुल लाइफ हमारे पास होती है जो कि एक कंपनी अपने इक्विपमेंट की खुद से डिजाइन कर लेती है और इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन फॉर योर लेवल सो मेथड ऑफ अकाउंटिंग फॉर द एलोकेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट फॉर एनी फिजिकल और टेंजिबल एसेट्स ड्यूरिंग इट्स यूजफुल लाइफ इज नॉन डेप्रिसिएशन आज की क्लास के लिए बहुत अच्छे से अपने जहन में रखिएगा कि डेप्रिसिएशन किस चीज को कहते हैं मैं आप लोग को एग्जाम्पल्स के थ्रू और इसको अच्छी तरह गो थ्रू करा रही हूँ सो डेट द कॉन्सेप्ट डीप कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेरी मच क्लियर टू यू now if i talk about the fixed assets uh, what are fixed assets basically a long term tangible piece it means long term tangible piece means what it can be uh, any uh, asset but it can be your seen and touched of your property of your equipment that a firm owns it means any firm who is owning or who is having that tangible asset and uses in its operation 
in to generate income uses in operation means for using it for manufacturing of the product jaise humne abhi machinery ki baat kari we have many heavy machineries we have many equipment agar aap simple heavy machineries pe bhi na jaye we have uh, electric uh, potato um, you can say french fries maker theek hai that is electric that is can be uh, gas operated even तो उसका जो ऑपरेशन है जो कि स्मॉल इक्विपमेंट है जिसपे अगर हम स्मॉल बिजनेस को देखते हैं योर स्मॉल बिजनेस जस्ट अ फ्रेंच फ्राइज मेकअप सो ही इज डेट यूजिंग डेट इक्विपमेंट और उसकी जो मशीनरी का यूज है वो लाइक फोर टू फाइव आवर्स और सिक्स आवर्स अगर इन अ डे है तो डेफिनेटली वो मशीन जब इतने आवर्स वर्क परफॉर्म कर रही है तो वो डेप्रिशिएट हो जाएगी घिस जाएगी रिड्यूज हो जाएगी to generate income but on the contrary way wohi fix asset uh, business ko ek income generate kar raha hai businessman ke liye profit generate kar raha hai profit produce kar raha hai theek hai so we have uh, second point fix assets are not expected to be consumed like uh, um, it means simple your fix assets are not whole soul it is consumed not whole soul it, it is demolished or converted into cash it cannot be in a air fixed asset most commonly appear on the balance sheet as property plant and equipment like if i talk about the fixed assets uh, kya hai basically in your balance sheet fixed assets you can find on your debited side um, in your um, fixed assets column in your balance sheet and it can be your property it can be your plant and it can be your equipment okay property is your uh, any a uh, building i am talking about property doesn't mean your land land can never be depreciate if uh, if you are thinking that you have a property and that is only a land no building on it so land uh, is the only fixed assets which is never depreciate okay yes uh, again we have a uh, um, definition in which i discuss that accounting term is basically defined as the reduction um recorded on fixed asset in a systematic manner systematic manner means you have to write on the from the first year like i uh, purchase my fixed asset in 2000 so i have to start recording from 2000 to 2001 2 3 4 okay so you have to write it down the reduction of fixed assets in a systematic manner until the value of the assets become zero until unless wo aapke paas khatam na ho jaye useless na ho jaye या वो वर्केबल कंडीशन में ना रहे ठीक है लाइक आई परचेज अ मशीनरी ऑन 2000 एंड इन 2015 इट इज आउट ऑफ वर्क इट इज नॉट परफॉर्मिंग द टास्क इवन आई रिपेयर इट आल्सो बट रिपेयर के बाद सारी वर्क परफॉर्मेंस के बाद भी अगर वो वर्केबल कंडीशन में नहीं रहता देन डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू डिस्कार्ड डेट फिक्स एसेट हमें उसको एक डेफिनेटली स्टोर रूम में सेपरेट रख देते हैं इट दैट मींस फर्दर इट इज नॉट इन अ यूजेबल कंडीशन सो इट कैन नॉट डेप्रिशिएट मोर वंस योर फिक्स एसेट इज यूजिंग और इन अ वर्केबल कंडीशन इट विल बी डेप्रिशिएट and uh, example of fixed assets are building furniture office equipment machinery these are you all know fixed assets a, a land is the only uh, exception which cannot be depreciated as the value of land appreciates with time a uh, land is the only fixed asset which is never depreciated it is always appreciate it means uh, if i purchase my land in 2000 Of rupees uh, five lakh, but in two thousand fifteen, the value of the land is not five lakh; it it will be five million. So it means as the numbers of years is increasing, the value of the land is appreciating. Uh, five lakh se wo uh, five million ban jata hai. It means it is appreciating; it is increasing rather than uh, other fixed assets are uh, depreciating, reducing. ठीक है so you have to keep in mind ke if in the exam uh, they give you the land and uh, they ask you to depreciate land so you should not charge any uh, depreciation on your land okay land is the only fixed asset which is never depreciate you have to learn this uh, one line in your mind then on the third point depreciation allows a portion of a cost Uh, or a fixed asset to the revenue uh, generated by the fixed assets yes it is a profit which our fixed asset is a generate uh, give us a generation as i talk about a small business or a french fries maker or any textile industry 
they are using their fixed assets they are running their different machineries uh, for basically day and night for the earning of profit okay this is the uh, mandatory under the matching principle and if i talk about which principle of accounting is this it is a matching principle by now the definition of the matching principle as revenue are recorded with their associated expenses it means uh, the income or the profit is generated from doing some expenses okay uh, in the accounting period when the asset is in use definitely you are using your assets and the main purpose of using that asset is to um, produce profit so this principle is called your matching principle this helps in getting a complete picture of the revenue generation transaction revenue are basically your day to day expenses which you are using or uh, doing it on the running your fixed assets okay if i put some oiling uh on in my machinery so this is my revenue expenditure so revenue are your day to day ex, uh, expenses example of depreciation is simple example if a delivery truck is purchased <clears throat> a company with a cost of 100000 here uh, the truck cost is 100000 expected use is uh, usage of the truck is 5 year expected usage means your useful life so the total cost of your truck is uh, 100000 expected usage is 5 years okay it means this is your useful life now the business might depreciate it means business might depreciate means reduce the cost so under this depreciation expense what you have to do you have to uh, calculate the depreciation such a way the business might depreciate uh, using the depreciation under expenses 20000 every year for the four period for the for every four years for every period of five years yes how it is expecting Uh, we have to simply uh, apply some methods of depreciation to calculate this the total cost is 100000 and uh, the years are 5 so it is very easily that 100000 divided by 5 so you will get the value of 20000 uh, yes i proceed uh, hope so it is clear to you that how this 20000 is a pair 100000 divided by 5 years you will get the value then we have uh, how to calculate depreciation in in small business we have uh, currently we i am letting you know in today's class as it is your first class of this lecture so we are basically we have five methods but today i am discussing the three methods with you number one is your straight line method number two is your unit production and number three is your declining method we can call it double declining also but we uh, use the word declining balance method okay diminishing method or declining method here we can use the two words hum isko diminishing method bhi kehte hain aur declining method bhi kehte hain jab main straight line method ki baat karti hu the depreciation straight line method mein jitni bhi saal istemal ho machine same uh, amount ki depreciate hoti hai agar is cheez ko aapko thoda sa explain karu like in 2000 uh 16 my machine is depreciate 2000 rupees then agar meri machine 2016 mein 2000 rupees ki depreciate hui hai to 2017 mein bhi 2000 ki hi hogi 2018 mein bhi 2000 rupees ki hi depreciate hogi it means in a straight line method depreciation will remain the same machine same amount ki hi depreciate hogi har saal theek hai in unit production method we have to apply the formula units ka matlab hota hai ki machine ne kitne units uh, work perform kiya hai hum uski baat kare calculations i will discuss in uh, next lectures okay fine then we have declining balance method declining balance method gives us the concept that the cost of your fixed asset is declining or reducing theek hai with the numbers of years इट मीन्स कि अगर 2018 में आपकी मशीन की डेप्रिसिएशन uh, 2000 है तो 2019 में 1500 है और उसके बाद वाले साल में 1000 है ठीक है तो वो 2000 से कम होती चली जाएगी पहले 2000 होगी डेप्रिसिएशन फिर 1500 हंड्रेड होगी और फिर 1000 हो जाएगी ठीक है मैं रिपीट करती हूँ स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड इन स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड डेप्रिसिएशन और विल रिमेन द सेम एज इट नेम शो जिस तरह के उसका नाम शो कर रहा है कि डेप्रिसिएशन स्ट्रेट लाइन रहेगी 
इट मीन्स अगर 2000 थाउजेंड डेप्रिसिएशन आई है मशीन की तो वो हर साल 2000 की अमाउंट ही रहेगी ठीक है लेकिन अगर मैं डिक्लाइनिंग बैलेंस मेथड की बात कर रही हूँ तो इन डिक्लाइनिंग बैलेंस मेथड मेरी डेप्रिसिएशन की अमाउंट चेंज होगी जैसे जैसे मेरे साल बढ़ते रहेंगे इफ आई एम इंक्रीजिंग माई नंबर ऑफ एयर्स सो डेप्रिसिएशन विल ऑल्सो बी चेंज ठीक है इन द फर्स्ट ईयर इट विल रिड्यूस टू थाउजेंड Uh, on the next year, uh, it will be fifteen hundred. Then on the next year, one thousand. Uh, calculations. किस तरह करते हैं? I will discuss in my next videos, in next lectures. So yes, we have some. Uh, you can say three main inputs are required to calculate depreciation. Yes, for the calculation of depreciation, we have. Uh, these are the point that you have to keep in mind. These are very important uh, definitions. Uh, this will uh, be asked. by the students in the examination for solving mcqs also so we have useful life uh, in useful life we have uh, you, you all people know it is your time period of your fixed asset for which you are using it this is the basic a time period over which the organization considers a fixed asset to be productive it means wo specific time or tenure aapke fixed asset ka jisme wo aapko uh, ek output perform karke dekh sake koi bhi aisi machinery jab tak wo workable condition mein rahe productive condition mein rahe usko hum uski useful life se represent karte hain beyond its useful life uski useful life ke baad the fix is is no longer ab uske baad once it is not in a useful condition wo work perform nahi kar sakta fix asset then no longer cost effective wo aapko profit bhi nahi dega of course cost effective bhi nahi hoga to continue the operation of the business definitely phir aap usko mazid manufacturing or production purpose ke use nahi kar sakte second definition is your salvage value salvage value is having a synonym which i use usually the it is uh, salvage value is also called um, residual value uh, or uh, you can uh, use uh, another um, different terms for it so salvage value is basically <clears throat> sorry post the useful life of the fixed asset the company may consider selling it as a reduced amount this is your expected life of fixed asset ki jo company khud decide karti hai ki aapki machine itni uh, अमाउंट की रिड्यूज हो सकती है सो पोस्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ यूजफुल लाइफ द कंपनी में कंसिडर सेलिंग इट एट अ रिड्यूज अमाउंट इट मीन्स ये वो अमाउंट होगी जो कि उसके स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट में रिड्यूज हो सकती है सैलवेज वैल्यू लाइक अगर आपकी मशीन की यूजफुल लाइफ टेन थाउजेंड है और मुझे लगता है कि वो वन थाउजेंड की सैलवेज हो चुकी है रिड्यूज हो चुकी है इट मीन्स करंट जो मेरे पास डेप्रिशियबल um, कॉस्ट आती है वो मेरे पास नाइन थाउजेंड होगी ठीक है सो योर सैलवेज वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड योर रिजिडियल वैल्यू ऑल्सो द थर्ड डेफिनेशन इज कॉस्ट ऑफ द एसेट कॉस्ट ऑफ द एसेट हियर इट शोज दिस इंक्लूड टैक्सेस शिपिंग एंड योर अदर प्रिपरेशन फॉर योर सेटअप ये कॉस्ट ऑफ द फिक्स एसेट इज बेसिकली इट वी इंक्लूड सम कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर टू कैलकुलेट द डेप्रिसिएशन हमें मशीन की टोटल कॉस्ट को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए इसके अंदर कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर्स को ऐड करना पड़ता है अब कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर क्या होते हैं कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर बेसिकली वो एक्सपेंडिचर होता है जिससे लाइफ ऑफ फिक्स एसेट इंक्रीज होती है ठीक है फर्दर डिस्कशन ऑफ दीज डेफिनेशन विल बी गोइंग ऑन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स दिस इज योर स्ट्रेट लाइन डेफ्रिसिएशन मैथड the simplest method is uh, it involves simple allocation of an even rate uh, depreciation every year over the useful life is as follows we have simple formula for that you have to write it down formula uh, with you this is your uh, total cost which i write it down asset cost total cost minus residual value or salvage value divided by useful life of the assets theek hai like agar mere paas uh, asset cost hai 100000 residual boy value is also be given 20000 and divided by uh, you can say uh, it's five so that you have to put the values of total cost 1 lakh residual value 10000 divided by 5 so you just have to put the values and find the answer it is the most easiest way to calculate the depreciation by straight line method because you just have to put this formula Which is as total cost minus salvage value divided by useful life. 
So write it down this uh, formula with you and you have to learn this and simply apply it. Total cost will be given in the question. Salvage value will also be given in the question and the useful life will also be provided in the question. This is the example. Uh, the company's manufacturing machinery cost 100,000. The useful life of the machinery is 10 years and then the residual value is 20,000. What they have done, they put the values. Total cost is 100,000. They put the 100,000 over here. Then uh, the useful life is 10, uh, 10 years. We are now using residual value is 20,000. Total cost, 10, uh, 100,000 minus 20,000. Here it is given. Then divided by 10. This is your useful life, which is given in the question. So this type of question will be appear in the examination. And you simply have to put the formula and find out the answer. It is very easy. Thus, the company can uh, take as 8,000 as the depreciation expense every year over the next 10 years. As it is your straight line method, so this depreciation uh, amount of 8,000 for every year, you can say for the number of years, for the 10 years. <clears throat> if machine depreciate for the first year, 8,000, then for the next year, it will also be a 8,000 same and for the next year it would also be 8,000 same. It is uh, your um, next class timing maybe. Yes, I, uh, I will wind up my lecture soon. Yes, I uh, proceed. Thus the company can take uh, rupees 8,000 as a depreciation expense every year over the next 10 years as it is your method of depreciation. So depreciation will be same for the numbers of years. You can see that we have number 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 10 years but the depreciation will be the same 80,000. You can see the total cost minus salvage value. 100,000 minus you can see here. 100,000 minus 20,000. Your answer is 80,000. Nah? So here they have mentioned 80,000. Total cost minus residual value is your 80,000. And then you apply it divided by 10. So the answer of depreciation is 8,000 for the numbers of years, which is the same. It means depreciation of first year is 8,000, which will be the same for the next numbers of years. That will be same for the next 10 years. This is again your depreciation, um, you can say uh, format uh, for the uh, different uh, perspective you can use it. We are calling it depreciation as a uh, systematic or rational process of distributing uh, tangible assets. My class is running out of time. Wait for a while. Yes, uh, so we have Simple home assignment I will discuss with you. Uh, 